Good morning, everyone, and thanks, Ehna, for having me. It's a pleasure in being with you today. And yesterday and today, in the many of the sessions, the word Google all the time pop up, or like constantly. And Google is doing a lot of things, uh, but none of us know exactly where they are going, right? Uh, because Google is a company that usually don't tell what they are going to do. It usually says what it has done, right? And so since yesterday, we have live these features. And it's a completely new feature, which is fabulous. But they don't tell what they plan to do in the future. So let's try to, to, to shed some light and see if we can find out what they want to do. Because it can affect you, the, whole, the entire hotel industry, right? So let's first some context, just two minutes of context, I think it's very important. First of all, we're talking in Europe. Europe is very different from the States. As you know, the fragmentation in Europe makes OTAs work much easier. And online sales in Europe keep growing, and 50, 55% of the entire sales are online, right? So it's constantly growing, there's not, not, nothing new. In Europe, again, OTAs are gaining much more market share than direct. Their OTAs are growing at, at a triple rate than direct. So as a consequence, the share of the OTAs is growing. In four years, we just got five percent, five points of market share. And that means distribution costs grow. And this is a huge problem for the hotel industry. Why? Because we are focused, we are obsessed with the red part. But if the red part doesn't grow at the higher rate of the distribution cost, the net red part is decreasing actually, which is happening in many hotels. They are obsessed with the red part, they're happy, they think they, think they are making money, but they don't. Oops, sorry. So in this context of growing distribution costs, OTAs gaining market share. We have a new layer, new players that are the meta search. And you know, the meta search is growing, booming. 43% of the users constantly use meta search before making a booking. This, and this number is constantly growing. Especially millennials and business travelers. These are the heavy users of meta search. Okay, among the MetaSer players, we find that this is our own numbers. Oh, this doesn't work. In 2016, Google Ads, in the investment in ads and Bing was on pretty much 75% of the entire investment. 2018, MetaSearch investment is higher than, than the ads investment. So MetaSearch is growing at a substantially higher rate than the Google Ads or entire ads industry. This is why Google merged hotel ads with ads, right? Because it's the same, it's the same, pro, in the, it's the same product for them. And among the meta search, Google is definitely the fastest growing meta search, right? They are winning. So let's focus on Google. They started with Google search to find Google hotel ads in maps. And now you have in Google trips. Last week in Focusrite Amsterdam, they launched this Google hotel search experience in desktop. It was live in mobile for, not, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure, for a year or a year and a half, and they launched it in desktop. And this is a complete new experience, and Google is definitely moving towards competing with Booking.com, Expedia, and the major OTAs. Google search, nothing new, we find the, the box right, Google Maps, nothing new. Google Trips, this is the new thing. And I don't know if you have, you have tryouts, but this is really cool. And I'm not sure if I will use many other apps that I used before, because this is fantastic. And it aggregates flights, hotels, and probably many of you have seen packages. So Google is, is testing with packaging. And this is, a, this is what Google is doing. So Booking.com and Expedia have to be careful because Google is, 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 is going their direction. 
And of course, at the same time, Booking and Expedia are the major investors in Google, Hotel Ads, and Google Ads. So it's a love and hate relationship. But Google is a huge company, and it's not like TripAdvisor and Trivago that they were smaller, and they, they had the problem of becoming mm, competitors. Booking stopped the investment in Trivago. <laughs> Instant Booking was silently just switch off. But Google is Google is a huge company. So let's see what happens. But at the same time, so Google is competing with OTAs, and at the same time, Google launched a few years ago a feature that's called Book on Google. That is their facilitated booking system. And you as a hotelier had the option to decide whether to redirect the user to your website or to the Book on Google funnel. Right. Book on Google Funnel look, looks like this. It's a, a standardized interface for all hotels, for all partners. So what Google wants to do is remove the friction that happens when you click and go to the website of the hotel. Right. And they are going to do this no matter you like it or not. Right. But Book on Google is the core, or as we see, the core in Google's growth strategy. Because on top of Book on Google, you can, you can connect Book on Google to the Hotel Ads module. A couple of years ago, they launched a new feature that is called Room Booking Module, which is very cool because you can see pictures in Meta Search. It, is, it was the first Meta Search that showed pictures. And you can you have a gallery of all the rooms of you have services, facilities, pricing. This module is restricted to partners that use Book on Google. So if you don't use Book on Google, you're out of Room Booking module. So this is the first signal that Google is betting on Book on Google to its strategy. And those partners, including Booking.com and Expedia, that don't connect to Book on Google won't be here. In fact, here you, you see the name of the partner, Travelocity and Orbitz, and you will, won't find Booking.com there yet. So the real Booking module is restricted to book, book on Google. Google Assistant, early this year, Google launched what they call voice booking. And now we see a short video that I think is very self-explanatory. But there will be many other features that we rely on Book on Google. And the question is, how fast will Google push this Book on Google feature? Will it allow to redirect to the website of the hotel? Or will it force to use Book on Google? So far, with Room Booking Module and Google Assistant, if you don't have Book on Google, you're out. In order to be in, you have to be in Book on Google. But the, the, the worst thing is that there are not many Book of Google partners, and it's not an easy integration to do. So Google, will ha so Google has to make sure that the, the pace of partners integrating with Book of Google uh, as accelerates, right? So this is the, this is the video. We, make it, we made the video just to show how, how making a booking with your voice is possible today. This is not a demo, this is a live booking. Of course, this is, a, this is not a, a real book in the sense that this person wasn't going to the hotel, but this I want to book a hotel in Barcelona. Turn a little. Sure, here are some hotels in Barcelona. Do you know what date you'll be staying? So you're for searching. April 23rd for two nights. You're searching for a hotel in Barcelona, right? Here's what's available for two nights, from April 23rd to 25, 2019. Can I narrow them down for you by budget, hotel star rating, or amenities? So you can- Five star hotel with a swimming pool. You can filter the results by category, by price, by right, services. Under $300. Got it, I added that to my search. 
Okay, let's go with Hotel Alma, Barcelona. So you choose the hotel you want to go. Is this where you wanted to stay? Yes. Okay, here are your options for two guests for two nights from April 23rd to 25, 2019. Who would you like to book with? Alma, Barcelona. This is where all the channels that have a connectivity to a system through Booking Google are shown, right? All right, we're almost done. This booking is non-refundable, and you'll pay $492 five now towards your total to confirm the reservation. Also, and you'll see some taxes. This is the, the, the guest number. details were already your in, because I, you use Google dollars. Assistant, you have to, to build your yes. personal data, right? And you have, I had my credit card already there, so everything was completely seamless. So I, we made the booking without any click, just with the voice, right? And it's very cool because it, it has this face ID, uh, which combined with this PSD2 legislation that is coming in September it will be very cool. So you have, you have the booking, right? So this is just a few screenshots of the entire funnel. And this is, this is not the future. I mean, this is just the present. The thing is that we as users are not ready to use this. The technology is there already. So the thing is, Google doesn't want to be a, a meta search, an average meta search. They want to offer you the option to show prices, to, to make a booking everywhere you go. And to do that, they needed book on Google. So they had a plan and they're implementing it. So absolutely a huge opportunity for, for you, for the hotel industry, because in the OTA, you cannot have a direct booking. In booking.com and Expedia, you don't have an option to go to the website. Well, with Expedia, there are some travel apps or something like that. But in general, OTAs are restricted to OTAs. The direct channel doesn't exist. But in the meta search world, you, have, you can connect your direct channel. So it's a huge opportunity, but we're going from an OTA dependency to the Google dependency. This is where we want to go. Um, how much does it cost? Of course, this is not free. You will have to pay money. But the thing is, you have to make it, you know, to pay less than an OTA. You have at least 20% limit, 18% limit. If you make it for less percentage, you're saving money. I don't know how, how many of you remember, but booking.com started charging 12% commission. It went up to 15 now it is preferred program up to 18. Will Google do the same? Will Google increase the cost with time? Is Google turning into an OTA? Because it looks like it from a user perspective. But from a hotel perspective, you are the merchant of record, you get the user details, you can do follow-ups. So from a hotel perspective, it's in the gray area. It can be a debate there. It is a marketing cost or is it a distribution cost? Call it however you want. If it's just a cost, and it doesn't matter how you call it. And how about my loyalty programs that I put in my website? Can I translate into the book on Google interface? It will, for sure. With flights, with the airline industry that is much more sophisticated, Google is already adding the mileage programs, the ancillary um, services, so you can upgrade your, your ticket, your, your purchase, right? It will with hotels. And eventually, what's the, what's the future of the direct sale, of the direct channel? Because today, 100% of the sales come from the website of the hotel. But in five year time, the website will just represent a share of the direct sale voice bookings through Assistant, through Amazon Alexa, or through Facebook Glasses, will represent a part of your direct channel. So direct, the direct channel will completely transform in the future. So conclusions. TripAdvisor remove instant booking. Trivago is struggling because it's a much, much smaller company. But Google is here to stay. Direct sales, as we know, will change, we have already discussed it. 
Book on Google allows Google to add the booking feature to any Google product. Android, Gmail, Google destinations, Google Glasses, Google Cars. We don't know yet, but for sure, Google will add this feature to many products. And we will know it when they are live, because this is how Google works. And this is the message for the hotel industry. You can sit down and discuss, this is good, this is bad. Should I get in? Should I just get, stay away? But Google will not stop until you make a decision. So the question is, will you try? Will you get in and give it a try for yourself? Or will you allow the OTAs to do the job for you and you pay the commission to them? This is another opportunity that is happening just right now. And my feeling, at least in Europe, it is very fragmented. Hotels will be in slip. And OTAs, Booking, and Expedia will take the opportunity. And hotels will live as this thing has never happened. But hopefully, this session will help some hotels think about it and change his mind. So thanks a lot. Hi. OK, Pablo, thank you. Um, I guess very quickly, we've got three minutes left. Um, for me, the key differentiators between Google uh, approach to this uh, versus the OTAs is, well, there's two, really. One is that the commission fees are not there. And the second is that the hotel actually gets to keep the, the user data for the, the information on the, on the, mm -hmm. on the booker. Um, so there's, there's a big difference, I think, compared to the OTAs. One of the questions that we have here is, what, uh, why isn't Google an OTA? And I think you've, you've clarified, uh, I think, in the, in, the, in the presentation, but also those two key factors as well, uh, I guess, are the main differentiators. Mm -hmm. But do you um, feel that Google's going to become um, more in this space? Because they've just released Google Trips, so they're really catering for many different areas. So from your perspective, what, what do you see as Google's key uh, agenda when it comes to travel booking? Well, I think that Google, Google in Google world, they, they love the word democratization of this ecosystem, and these very, very high level words. They connect demand with supply, right? And everything that makes life easy for users, Google will try to do it. And if that gets closer to the becoming OTA, they will. They don't want to become an OTA. It's not their business. And the granularity that you need to, to connect to each specific hotel is very costly. It's not that business. But from a user perspective, users have, will have to choose between Booking, Expedia, and Google because they will be able to make a booking to the three of them. From a user perspective, you may think it's an OTA. But from a hotel perspective, I think it's a great area. Sometimes it looks like it, sometimes it will not. But my feeling is just a personal opinion. They won't become an OTA because it's not what they want to. So booking's obviously simplifying the booking process with Book on Google. It's entirely within their ecosystem. Um, for hotels, what uh, that perhaps maybe don't have the most uh, inviting booking engine or websites, they, in theory, really should still focus on their brand.com. It shouldn't become irrelevant, even though there are this, this mm. is now another channel. So I think it's very important for hotels to maintain their, their brand.com. Um, also, just a question that's come through is, uh, if Google Assistant is here today, what's next? Well, uh, difficult to know, but, but mm, I don't know how many of you have bought a, one of these Amazon Alexa or Google Home. But I think you have to, just to realize what's going on. And you'll see how your kids, if you have them, interact with the, the different platforms and gadgets and widgets that are everywhere. So I think voice absolutely will be disrupted and, and some glasses or, or mm, mm, sensors to, to measure your moves. Or, they want to adapt and they want to be anticipate. So everything that anticipates the user decision, I think it will be the future combined with voice, but difficult, very difficult to know. Okay, just one last question before we finish. You mentioned the glass piece. Is booking by voice really a search and book option, or would this be a tool to book a specific hotel if the user knows? Well, we just saw that, that you can search for a specific, ho for a hotel in a destination. So, so far, you can search for hotels in Google Assistant. Uh, at the first step should be just making the booking. 
I think, and pro probably in the corporate uh, world, which is the basic bookings. If you were to go to the Caribbean seven days, two adults and three kids, probably you wouldn't book using your voice, right? So I think we'll start with the simplest and we'll go to the more complicated. So I think the underlying messages for hotels, especially the long tail independent side of the market, do your homework on Google, become familiar with it, understand it, and really perhaps integrate it into your yeah. distribution and strategy. Ab absolutely, but it's difficult from a hotel perspective because their business is different. So they have to make an effort just to come to these events, to read, and to understand what's going on. That doesn't mean making decisions, but at least just getting the knowledge. Yeah, so, correct. Good, okay, thank you. Oh, thank you.